we have the pleasure of meeting Derek. This is absolutely beautiful. It looks like a piece of art as well as it looks like some magnificent engineering. What does it do? It's a model of an Armstrong hydraulic winding engine Okay. from a place called Allen Heads up in Northumberland. Okay, and is it a winder for steel cables for mine shafts or steel something along Steel cables yep. to bring the men and materials out of the lead mines. So lifts for lead mines. Lifts okay, for lead fantastic. Mines. Very good, very good. Now, previous to this, the miners had to walk down probably two hours into the mine along a long inclined shaft. Right. Along came Armstrong and offered this device to them. They installed it five minutes. Luckily, the owners were in fact um, religious people that in fact enjoyed the company of their men and they gave them extra money. Okay. And they <laughs> gave them a Sunday school for their kids. Fantastic. In response. So yeah, everybody yeah. was happy in the, with yeah. this particular model. Yeah, 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 superb. This is eight scale. And you stood about here. Just a really? Bit so it's actually, so it's not I, was, I was expecting it to be huge. No. So how does this work then? What happens? Well, basically, this is a machine that takes free energy from a head of water above the mine. Right, now, the okay. head of water is quite okay. high, 140 feet. 140 feet gives you 40 psi right. water pressure. That water pressure is applied to the ends of the machine. It then actuates various cylinders, which are very similar to steam engines, turns the drum. And so it's, it's that water pressure coming in on one side yep. and, and the differential with the, with yep. the, with the, with the, waste, yeah, waste the wastewater yeah. going away yeah. there. So, and that's effectively what drives the, 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 the mechanism. Yeah. yeah. Okay, brilliant. But the mechanism is driven by water pressure. Yes. No, nothing else, yeah. not yeah. steam, yeah. not air, yeah. but water yeah. pressure and from an artificial source. Which, which ultimately makes it very cheap to run. Very, and, very and, and cheap. What about corrosion? What about, um, what about lubrication? What about, you know, how does that sort of work? How does it play Basically, in here? In those days, the machines were used every day. Yeah. There was no corrosion because yeah. they were used every day. You had good engineers who used yeah. to squirt external oil on the various moving parts. Right, okay, okay. Plus okay, the okay. fact yeah. the water is its own lubricant. Right, okay, okay. okay. When we think of a water as a lubricant, it is, there's a yeah. certain degree there, and that helped obviously to yeah. carry away dirt, carry away all sorts of bits and pieces. And I suppose the, the, the seals were so good that air wouldn't get in there, then then, then you wouldn't get oxidisation happening yeah, exactly. and, and that exactly. kind of thing. So, the yeah, seals yeah. were, in yeah. fact, yeah. made from yeah. leather. Yeah. Really? Cowhide. Really, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Special yeah, shape yeah, and put yeah, in there to yeah. achieve the shape. That's, uh, that's amazing, isn't it, really? It's amazing, the technology of, uh, of yesteryear. Yes. So, how long did it take you to, to put this together? Yeah, 15 years ago. <laughs> you started yes. work on this 15 started years ago? 15 years ago, just really? before yeah. I retired. Yeah. And yeah. basically, yeah. you make use of all your spare time because you want to make things. An engineer yes. wants to make exactly, things. Exactly, exactly the same, yeah. And when you yeah. get in yeah. this environment, it has to be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, so fair this enough. this is the yeah. level yeah. you have to yeah. come to yeah. to come back and you see the level that I've got. That's absolutely fantastic. Well, actually, just just a note, I do understand that this might have won an award. Mm -hmm. It won the gold medal at the Model Engineering Show two years ago. That's fantastic. Well done, well done, Derek. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. A piece of art and a wonderful, wonderful piece of engineering. To make that model, I had to make patterns, right. wooden patterns, right. to allow pieces to be cast correctly. Um, this is how they would have originally been made on the full size one. It's called a spider. Right. And it's made of wood. Show it to the show it to the and camera. Basically, okay. down here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So that's a spider, that's and it's made. Spider. Of, it's made of wood. And, and what, you can what, see what, what would you what would you use that for then? I can then move that to where it is on the model. Okay. And you see the shape. Yeah. And why it's called a spider. So you can see the difference between the wooden pattern and the actual cast part. So what did you do? Did you use that pattern then to cast that part? Yes. So you yes. put that you pattern put that in sand, and, sand and then you poured you pour molten metal, metal, metal cast in iron there, metal. cast iron metal, and then cast it. Which is a normal. Yeah. And then machined it afterwards to, 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 to get it on, on target with tolerance yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. That's, that's magnificent, brilliant, yeah. The colours are here because it's important to have the areas which are subsequently going to be machined. So all of yeah. these yellow areas will yeah. be flattened by a milling machine, or and something all the red those. would yeah. be left, would left rough, yeah. and naturally, yeah. okay, naturally carved. Okay, brilliant. Thank no you problem. very Thank much you indeed. Really, really, yeah, it's very good footage. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.